All right, guys. My name is Luke Thomas, better known as Luke Thomas NY on Twitch and YouTube. Um, today, I am going to be doing a live unboxing video on the Razer Black Widow Chroma, as you can see here. Um, so let's go ahead and pop this sucker open and check out what else is in the box other than just the keyboard and see what we think of the packaging and design. All right, let's get to it. <clears throat> I'm going to be very careful about cutting this box open. I am OCD about that kind of shit. <clears throat> I know in lots of other unboxing videos, they probably just tear right through all that shit and don't even think twice about it, but I'm just a stickler for box quality, I guess. Um, Sorry, this takes too long because of that. I might just end up skipping this out of the YouTube video, but I should only have to open one end of the box, so it shouldn't take too long. And let's see, got it open, it looks like. <coughs> <coughs> Set that right there. Right and let's go ahead and pop this bitch open. Got a little tab here to pull out. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's a little tab that you grab here just to lift the actual box that the keyboard's in out of the outside box, or whatever the fuck you call it. Um, all right, so that's that. Box in a box. <coughs> all righty. Um, so there's plastic over the entirety of the keyboard here, but it looks like there's a little section I'm supposed to grab and lift. I'm sure we've all seen that on like cell phone boxes and stuff at this point. But let's take a look. Let's see. Okay, there was nothing in there. Just an empty little box with finger grippies on it, so that's kind of a waste of space and time. Um, I'm assuming though that's so I can grab this thing out of here somehow. Maybe. <coughs> Let's see. There's gotta be a way to get this out of here without tearing this whole thing apart. That's gotta be what that's for. Let's see. <coughs> Apparently not. <coughs> All right. Um. So the keyboard's kind of awkwardly in here, to be honest. I probably would have done this a little differently. I don't know much about package design, I guess, but. <coughs> <coughs> just seemed to kind of be lodged in there in a way where you have to take like the whole keyboard out of the box like to get the get to what you're looking for here, like the meat and potatoes. So let's see. Oh, that opens, that's a little box. That makes sense. Okay, so something else kind of where they did, they have a little box in their box in their box where the cords and stuff kind of like are wrapped up inside of there. You probably just saw me pull those out of there. Um, so I don't need to show you that over and over again. Um, let's see. And then it looks like you get softwares, documentation, user manuals. Let's see, what does it say? For gamers, by ra gamers. Razorzone.com. Check that shit out, I guess, if you want to buy this keyboard. Support them. <coughs> little tab here to open this shit up. Let's see what's inside of here. Oh, I ripped it. I'm an idiot. I don't know if you see that, but I fucking... Whoosh, there's a little tab. It's kind of ambiguous about how you're supposed to open. It just says open. <coughs> rip the other side. I don't know if you heard the rips, but now we've got two rip flaps. This is very poorly designed packaging. Oh, and then it decided to just lift open. So I know that the... We're all here not to see necessarily the packaging, but the keyboard itself. A couple stickers included in the box. I think that's actually pretty cool. I have a chair over there with stickers on it. You guys can probably see it. So I'll probably slap one of those on there, keep the other one in storage. Looks like you get the important product guide information booklet. Pretty beefy little booklet here compared to what you get with most products nowadays. Um, and then exclusive rewards for the Razer Faithful. It looks like some, some kind of loyalty program that they offer. There's probably more information on the back there about that. <coughs> I've never heard of it, but 
Um, let's see. Uh, congratulations, there's no turning back. And some sort of like thank you message for buying the keyboard, which for a $170 keyboard, I guess it's the least they could do. Thank you. Um, so documentation, user manuals, important shit. No software. With the size of the packet, I was maybe expecting a CD or DVD inside of there, but um, I don't know. Looks like none of that. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, let's go ahead and check out the keyboard a little bit more closely. I've heard that these have like two USB ports on the end from somebody like at a store one time, so I don't know what the actual case is. Uh, it looks like, from what I can tell actually, it's got more than that from what I can see already. I'm gonna leave this plastic all around while I do this part just in case I fuck anything up. Um, <clears throat> all right, so two USB ports, a mic jack, and a headphone jack. So. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this open here very carefully so I don't cut the wires. Okay, so it's only one wire until you get until you get down to this little, like spreader thingy. So you only have this much length basically on like your pigtails, like your four different pigtail ends. And the rest of the cable length seems to be like a braided sing single cable. While that is better for cable management, just keep that in mind. If you're looking to buy this and you do need these pigtails to be longer, you may be looking at USB extension cables or USB hub or headphone extension cables or microphone jack extension cables. Yo! Yo. Um, so just keep that in mind. Be wary of that for those of you who are looking to use this maybe on a bigger desk or further away from your computer. I'm just recording an unboxing video. Say what's up, Bernie. What's up, Bernie? Uh, and the plastic comes off, and we're down to the keyboard. Just as clicky as you'd expect it to be. Clicky, ticky, ticky, ticky. <laughs> All right, so. Very ticky. Um, I mean, I'm sure there's like a bajillion videos out there on YouTube that break down the actual like keyboard specs and and like talk all about this keyboard versus that keyboard. I more just wanted to show you guys what was inside of the box, give you my opinion on what I thought of the quality of the packaging, the way it was laid out, and uh, just a, a brief rundown of the product. I mean, the the Chroma version of the, of the uh, Black Widow Ultimate has five programmable gaming keys on the side, which is why I decided to go for the Chroma over the regular Black Widow myself. I personally don't care a ton about the color spectrum as much as I do about, I the, care additional, about the color additional buttons. But another thing to be conscious of, on the packaging for the Black Widow Ultimate, it says that it has, right on the back it says USB pass-through, and then it says mic jack, headphone jack. On the back of the box for the Chroma version, it does not call out the fact that there's a USB port on the side of the keyboard, but if you like flip and twist and spin the packaging all around, you can find the side of the box that says that it has USB pass-through. It's like right, right on the top there, one of those little things, like USB pass-through, that top one right there. Um, but that's the only spot in the box that I could find that said it. So I was originally going to go for the <clears throat> Ultimate because I didn't want the color and because it had the USB pass through and I was under the impression that this one didn't. But upon further inspection, I realized this one had the five additional keys plus the USB port still. So, um, you know, I guess uh, that'd be my only other two cents about that. Um, you know, on why Chroma maybe over Ultimate if you're like back and forth between the two or you're looking at them, you really can't tell the difference. Um, that's all I could spot. So feel free to leave any comments, feedback, whatever in the comment section here on YouTube uh, to let me know what you thought of this video. Make sure to subscribe and like and click all these fucking buttons down here. Um, also, uh, check out my Twitch channel, uh, twitch.tv slash LukeThomasNY. Um, that is going to be your ticket to winning awesome giveaways and prizes and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Come back for more. We'll see you later.